Hello and welcome back to Cello from the Beginning. This is part two of our G major exercises lesson. So if you haven't done part one, you want to find the previous video in this playlist, uh, go back and do those first four exercises. We'll be doing now the second page of exercises, and of course, as usual, the link to the sheet music is in the description. Uh, we'll be doing exercises five through eight. So let's take a look at that now. Here's exercise five. So again, we're staying in uh, our basic scale pattern. And this exercise now introduces some uh, eighth notes. It introduces some slurs uh, that are on every other set of eighth notes. Um, we have scales in thirds and scales in seconds. Uh, so just I'll play a little bit at the beginning here so you can just get the feel of what's going to happen. <laughs> So what we're doing is we're playing uh, the first two notes of the scale in thirds and then connecting them with the intermediate note, the second. One, four, one, three, four, three, D, three, four, D, and you see so on going along all the way up the scale and then we finish. We don't come down. On this one, we'll actually do that in the next exercise. So let's go ahead and find our hand position. There it is. And we'll go slowly. One, two, three, and four. That's uh, exercise five. Obviously, the tricky bits in here are once again in the middle of the scale pattern, right? Where we, we have these string crossings. And at the very end. So those are the treacherous bits, the string crossing places. So let's go right on um, and take a look at exercise number six. So here you'll see what we have is mostly uh, a descending version of this, starting from the high G uh, with the scale in a broken third and then descending stepwise, third descending stepwise. And we get to the end and we play a kind of a modified scale going up stepwise and then coming down. So let's try this one. So we're going to be starting on the D string with this one with fourth finger. So let's check that. They're open G. One, two, ready, play. tricky thing there at the end. If you need that slower, I'll just play these last two bars uh, very slow. Three and four and... <laughs> feel free to stop and, and practice any of those parts, any of the, the tricky bits at a slower tempo until you learn them. So again, this is just really the reverse of what we did in exercise five, uh, and just coming down instead of uh, going up with a little bit of extra excitement at the end. So let's take a look at exercise seven. Now here, we are once again going to have a scale See if I can get that positioned better. 
There we go. A scale uh, with large leaps. So ascending this time, before we did going up in fourths and coming down in fifths. Now we're going to go up in sixths. So long distance between these notes. Here we're still doing the scale pattern, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Uh, we don't quite get to the, to the G, but long uh, distance between the notes. And then descending, we're going down in sevenths. High D to E, C natural to D. So this is a, a very, um, very interesting exercise because of all, the, it's almost all string crossings constantly all the way through uh, and really having to be uh, carefully aware of where your fingers are. So uh, how about, how are we going to set our hand up? Well, even though we start on the open G, our first fingered note is that one on the D string. So we're going to, we're going to set up our hand on the D string. So we're ready. And we can go ahead and have that first finger down uh, because it's we can have it in place while we're playing the open G. So let's try it. One, two, ready, play. G. One. One on the G. Three on D. Cross with three. Four. Low four. All the way to the open A. second finger. Now let's continue. Four, one on D, two on A, open D, one on A, all the way over to four on G, all the way over to open A, all the way over to three on G, four on D, one on G, three on D, open G, play that again without all my talking uh, in it so you just have a play along track but uh, I just wanted you to, to hear uh, and and kind of listen and pause and consider uh, the very very big number of string crossings and hopefully you caught in there I'm sure you did if you were trying to play along that in a couple of these places uh, as we are descending in the sevenths we have to cross two strings in other words when we go for example from a first finger on the A to all the way to fourth finger on the G. So we have to cross our D string. Let me uh, show that a little bit. So, uh, let's hold my cello up. I'm here. I have to get all the way there from A string to G string. And then back to the A, actually. So that's tricky. I have a sequence of notes, A string with one, G string with four, open A string, G string with three. That is worth practicing that uh, pivot technique all by itself. Just A, G, A, G, A, G. What you don't want to hear is you don't want to hear the D. D has, you have to cross the D, you have to seesaw across the D right at the bow change. And of course, because there's a big string crossing, it won't be a pure legato, right? We can't actually, the physics of that is not possible. We can get close. But there's a tiny, tiny break in those notes. So now let me play this once without all my talking over it, just as a play-along track. One, two, ready, play.
challenging exercise. So don't uh, don't panic if you have a, a difficulty with that one. Just go slowly and practice it, even even a line at a time, or even a measure at a time, or even just individual groups at a time. <laughs> You know, stop and repeat those if you need to. So now let's take a look at exercise eight. And as I've done in a number of these um, exercises, uh, we kick the difficulty up quite a bit here with exercise eight. First thing you notice immediately is it's all eighth notes. It's going to be going a little faster. Uh, secondly, we have the optional uh, two note slurs here. And I'll play it both ways, and you'll see that uh, the two-note slurs are really quite difficult to execute as we get into it. So again, um, practice with your separate bows first, and then, then go back and add the slurs as a challenge. And really consider this whole exercise eight as a, as a higher level of challenge. The pieces that we're about to do will be nowhere near as difficult as this exercise. So this is really um, what we like to do is challenge ourselves in the technique, and then when we're playing the music, bring it down a little bit level-wise uh, so that we can work on other things, musicality and just having fun. So here we go. Uh, and oh, the other thing is I've taken away uh, a few of the finger numbers on this one. So you'll have to hopefully uh, at this point you're ready to start uh, um, reading finger numbers. So I took away the finger numbers in the scale pattern at the beginning and then in the middle section here, I did not indicate the open strings. You have to read the open D and open Gs for yourself. All right, so what's, we're starting on the G string, so we'll, we'll set up our hand. And I'll play this uh, slowly. And we'll count off, you'll hear me count off instead of one, two, three, four. I'll count off every eighth note. One and two and three and four, like that. One and two and three and four and. So very challenging. That is a little bit of note uh, spaghetti there on the left hand and uh, really, really tangled up fingerings and uh, lots of string crossings for both left and right hand. All right, I'm going to play it again now we'll add it with the added slurs. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to count off uh, just the last two beats this time. When we're going slowly um, and we kind of know the tempo we want to go, we don't actually have to count off an entire measure. Oftentimes we'll just count off three, four, and I'll count off three and four and. So three and four and. <laughs> is a really challenging exercise to uh, wrap up this set. So work hard. Uh, don't be scared of this one. Uh, go slowly. Uh, if, you, if you don't master it to the level that you've master, you're able to master the others, that's perfectly okay. This really is here as uh, to really stretch um, our, 
to really challenge and stretch uh, what we're doing. And so uh, it's, it's perfectly fine if uh, you stumble and it's not perfect. Uh, so as you'll see in what's coming up next, the next thing we're going to have in the video sequence is um, uh, two different songs that we're going to be working on, and they will be much easier than this and hopefully fun for you to play. So I'll see you with the first of those two songs next time.